was a happening hot stuff. You like it, the dong? Huh? Great movie. <laughs> Big Lake. Psh. All right. This is going to be Rudiments 201. Uh, the last installment of the Connecticut Halftime, which I'm looking over here at the other one, part six. And on this one, we're going to cover, it looks like, wherever I picked, you know, went off the last time, the last phrase, the 11th and 12th phrase, or something like that. If you're keeping up with it, and you're looking at some form of music, and there's a lot of them that's different. I've got the one here that has a couple of sevens, mostly fives. i got another one here that's all sevens, it looks like. But it's got flams in it for the paradiddles and so you know so. Ow! Ooh, that hurts. Smart. Ow. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this last part, and uh, then we'll uh, talk about it a little bit, and then we can uh, finish up this series, and then I'll do uh, Connecticut Halftime Part Seven, which I will play it, and I will play it on that one with the five strokes all the way through. Excuse me, without repeats, and then I'll also do it with uh, seven strokes without repeats. All right, so uh, this one here. Hear me click my sticks? <laughs> I'll play it one more time. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but uh, on the single random cues, okay, be sh those should sound a, a little, I'm not, it may not sound that way, but when you're playing it, it sounds kind of choppy. It, 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 you get the feeling a lot of times that you want to go, okay, and you're not supposed to. The random cue is downbeat, upbeat. So they're supposed to be an actual whole half space in between the and of one or the and yeah the and of one and the downbeat of two. So it's supposed to be like like if this is eighth, eighth notes, all right? Sort of like that. Be sure they're on the upbeat. Uh, the other part is where you're going. Um, I have a video on Rudiments 101 about duple, triple transfers, and what that is is going from a duple feel, which would be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, to a uh, triple. Like uh, um, you have eighth notes here, triplets. Okay, uh, practice doing um, to do this. You know, practice doing this. Rush those rolls on the last part going. Uh, as I say in the other video, there's a tendency to rush the rolls once you're coming out of triplets, and a tendency, I believe, to drag the triplets once you're coming out of rolls, something like that or whatever. But uh, yeah, let me uh, do those things. Uh, check out the, uh, the duple tripper triple uh, video. And this should go well. Ooh. Ooh. And um, I'm going to play this a couple more times for you now, right at the end. So uh, the last thing you'll be left with is this last uh, couple of phrases, okay? I hate that. <laughs> hey, but it happens.
actually a short video. This ought to be fun. Last one of the Connecticut halftime, and like I said, the next time I'll uh, it'll be the Connecticut halftime full performance or whatever, and uh, that ought to be fun. I might make it right now, or maybe not. But until then, keep practicing, young Jedi, and remember the donga. All right, have fun. It's just drums. Be good.